Work has begun in Miyagi Prefecture to examine debris left behind by the March 11 disaster and test for radioactive substances released by the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Testing began on a Saturday at a temporary storage site in Ishinomaki City. Here, the quake and tsunami left behind more than 6 million tons of debris, the largest amount among all municipalities hit by the disaster. Using heavy machinery, workers removed samples of wood and rubber from a huge pile of debris. Storage sites across the prefecture are getting close to capacity. If safe levels of radioactivity are confirmed, local officials hope to move debris to new disposal sites being built in Miyagi Prefecture and also to incineration facilities located in neighboring regions. The testing is aimed at dispelling public safety concerns about the transfer and disposal of debris. Measuring radiation levels is essential for easing public concerns about radioactive contamination. Miyagi Prefecture plans to measure the radioactivity of debris at 12 storage sites, including those in Keshen Numa and Minami Sandeku. Municipalities in Fukushima Prefecture affected by the March 11th disaster are stepping up efforts to restore life to normal. They've begun to decontaminate public buildings and are restoring key infrastructures. The move comes after the Japanese government lifted an evacuation advisory on Friday for five municipalities. The municipalities are located between 20 and 30 kilometers from the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. After the disaster, residents in the municipalities were advised to prepare to evacuate in case of an emergency at the nuclear plant. About 28,500 residents, or half of the population, fled the areas. The city of Minamisoma has placed priority on removing radioactive substances from public facilities such as parks and schools. Contractors are replacing surface soil with uncontaminated soil, but they say it's becoming difficult to procure the necessary amount of the soil due to increasing demand. Cleaning the parks and the roads is only part of what needs to be done. There are still many, many concerns. In Kawauchi village, residents have begun to patrol residential areas against burglaries. It is feared that the cancellation of the government advisory could make it easier for burglars to prey on communities. I want to do something to help. I work hard for my village and the younger generation. The central government has yet to come up with concrete measures, including financial assistance, to support the municipality's restoration efforts. Anti-nuclear rallies have been staged across the United States amid growing concerns about the safety of the nation's more than 100 nuclear reactors. Demonstrations held on Saturday at 15 locations in the U.S. were largely inspired by the accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in March. A recent tornado and an earthquake also shut down over a dozen reactors on the East Coast, making Americans increasingly worried about the safety of the 104 nuclear reactors in the country. In New York, people gathered at a park along the Hudson River to participate in a rally organized by a civic group. The group is demanding the shutdown of the 40-year-old Indian Point nuclear reactors in New York State. Roughly 20 million people live within 80 kilometers of the facility, which is located close to two earthquake fault lines. A Japanese woman living in New York described the situation mothers in Fukushima are facing. Should my kids wear masks? Should I let them play outdoor? These are the questions everybody, every mother is asking themselves on a daily basis. This is a, a national, but it's an international tragedy. It has heightened my awareness, and I know if it can happen in Japan, it can happen anywhere.